y'all so today is sunday it's like 5 30 oh it's six o'clock okay it's six o'clock and i sat down got ready back up i got ready to make a video and i thought that i was gonna do like a video of me showing y'all the clothes that i got from whenever i went thrift shopping last night but i go and i look to find out that i only got like four clothing items like that was it and i wanted to do like a try on you know thrift video but there's like no point really of me showing y'all four pieces of clothing anyway today i got some exciting news i got some exciting news today i go to post my vlog so i click on my video and an advertisement pops up and i'm like what i was so ha i was like doing a jig like for 30 minutes straight i was so happy because it's just like I never really celebrated any other milestone on my channel before just because like once I have in mind like a goal that I want to hit and I hit it I'm like okay what's the next thing like I never give myself time to celebrate something good that happens like a little milestone so I was just so happy about that thank y'all so much for watching my videos because if y'all weren't watching them then I wouldn't be hitting these big milestones so I hit 2,000 subscribers the other day thank you so much um I really appreciate it shout out to there you go to Lottie Kate she said that she started her micro locks after watching one of my videos and she also did it the way that I've been trying to tell y'all that I should have done it which is like to twist it and then make sure that you braid the end so that it won't come undone and all that stuff so I'm glad that you did that girl because if you didn't it was gonna be a lot of work to go in and try to rebraid those ends i didn't tell y'all but yesterday whenever i was in the beauty supply store to buy these um like bone rollers because i want to like do a curl set on my hair soon i saw this lady with locks i knew that i wanted to tell her that i liked her hair but i was nervous because i was just like i don't know like what if she not in the mood to talk to folks today you know <laughs> but um i walked up to her and i was like i like your hair and she's like thank you like i like yours what is that and i was like i'm starting locks and she was like oh my god they're so small because hers were small but they weren't like micro sized so that was nice man i love this lock community
just picked up the pizza. They hiring. We just got cheese. Okay, y'all, so today's Tuesday. I never said that before. I just got done eating my pizza, finished my homework. I've been trying to take a picture in this skirt for a long time. This is the skirt that I thrifted. Right now, I'm about to try to take a picture in this skirt. Okay, so I think that this is going to be a good setup because I want the wall to be like my background. So we're going to see. We're going to see about this one. The struggle is real. I cannot, cannot take a decent picture. So I'm just gonna give up and call it a day. That was, that was super dramatic, huh? Okay, so um, I'm about to get in the shower, but before I do that, I need to twist my hair up or braid it or something. I think I'm just gonna twist it because I don't feel like braiding it, but I need to do something to it because my ends are getting like really pooped out and frizzy. You can't see it because of this light, but it is. So I'm about to go ahead and twist my hair up. emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra as heard from those positions now when played back simultaneously on two separate systems the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monolo recording Today's Thursday morning and it's about 6.45 so I have to get ready to go to school soon. But I just wanted to pop on and say what's up. Because yesterday I ruined my streak of recording every single day because I forgot to bring my camera with me to my friend's house after school yesterday. So I'm really tired. <laughs> If you couldn't tell, I was going to put on mascara, but then I was like, no, I don't really feel like it this morning. And I've been wearing it for the past two days. So I just want to give my eyes a break, I guess. Um, the only reason why I have on lipstick is because I don't even consider lipstick to be like makeup like that, you know, because my eyes are red. I'm so tired. I don't even consider makeup to like lipstick to be makeup because i guess like the step isn't extra for me because if i were to wear lipstick or not i'm still gonna put on lip gloss so it's like the same like application but it's just like a color so that's not wearing it y'all my eyes are red because i'm tired okay <laughs> so 6:46. um i'm not wearing this sweater today because as you can see the buttons are broken 
Well, actually, like, I lost one button, and then I decided to go ahead and take this one out, too, to just kind of make it look like it's supposed to be like this, because the top and bottom one are on. But I'm not going to wear it today. I'm just having it on because um, I'm waiting for the sweater that I'm actually going to wear to dry. I have nothing else to update y'all on, I don't think. Talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. Today is Friday. Um, it is April 5th, and it's about 5.38 p.m., and I just got home from school a little bit ago. Today was a very chaotic day. It was like chaotic and chill at the same time because I wasn't in class today at all because I was working the blood drive at my school, which is just like, um, you know, blood donation. Um, our school holds two blood drives every year, one in the spring and one in the fall. This is the spring 2019 blood drive and um, yeah, it went pretty smoothly, but it was still kind of a lot. Uh, I had to be at school by 6.50 a.m., which is not even that early. Like, I'm not complaining about that because that's kind of the time that I should be arriving to school every day. But I don't. I arrived to school about five minutes before class starts. So I was there on time today. I was actually able to get a lanyard that was basically like your pass to be in the gym where the blood drive was being held at. So I want to show y'all where it is, but I'm so comfortable right now. Where is it? I don't know why I can never find my stuff, ever. Okay, I found it. Commit for life blood drive, and it's white on this side and then blue on the other side. So that was my little lanyard that I wore all day today. This makeup that you see, and then you see something different. This is makeup that I did by myself, but um, <laughs> to be honest, I think that I'm getting a little bit better, a little bit better at applying false eyelashes. Uh, these are not perfect, like as you can see, as you get closer and closer, they start to look messed up. This one is lifting, and this one is just, I don't know what that one is doing. And also, as far as makeup goes, I've been trying to practice a little bit. Um, I don't do makeup videos on my channel anymore because instead of making y'all watch me attempt to do it, I want to actually get good at it so that I can do like little beginner friendly tutorials because I think that will be really helpful. So I'm trying. Um, nothing is in my eyebrows or nothing is on them. Not nothing is in them. Nothing is on my eyebrows. For my, uh, these lashes are by um, Kiss I think and these are called... <sighs> Nothing is right here with me. It's way over there. Let me go get it real quick. <laughs> okay, so the lashes that I use, I'm pretty sure they're by Kiss, but I don't have like the actual box with me. But as you can see, the name of them, Tulay, I think is how you pronounce it. Hope y'all can see that. Y'all, my screen is like backwards, so I can't even see right now. The mascara that I put on before I put the lashes on which is a trick that I learned from a YouTube video that I watched. It's the Maybelline New York Lash Sensation. Lash Sensational. Some, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I'm just going to show you. I think I've showed y'all this before, but um, there you go, just in case I hadn't yet. My favorite lip gloss, which is out. It's the number seven lip gloss. And the brown lipstick. I love this brown. I need to find like... um. A better brown lip liner because this is, I don't have on a lip liner right now. It's a liquid matte lipstick from it's wet and wild and it's cruelty free, so that's great. Where's the color? The color is caramel cake. So the pink eyeshadow that I tried to do, the name of it is rubbed off, so I can't even show y'all that. But um, yeah, that's it. It's my beginner friendly makeup. And then I just took my hair down because I wore it like in a ponytail. Y'all know that ponytail that I. Y'all know that um, high puff or ponytail that I wear with like my little bangs. That's how I've had my hair in the past three days. I'd say I wore my hair like that. So it's a little bit later. And I realized that I never really talked much about my videos being monetized on Sunday. Because that was whenever, that was the first day of me having ads on my channel. And I want to say thank you to everybody even though I probably already did but thank you so so much 
um, I wanted to share with you the the requirements, I guess you could say, to getting your videos monetized as of right now. So, there are two, wait, hold on, my cousin Snapchatted me. What she want? I love my cousin. I, I didn't mean for that to come off like I'm bothered. I'm not, I love her. Okay, she ain't really want nothing. <laughs> but, of course, my camera battery is about to die, so I'm going to have to postpone this conversation. So the first thing is that you need to apply for the YouTube Partner Program. The second thing that you need to do is make sure that your Google AdSense um, is updated so that whenever you do reach the required amount of numbers, um, you're able to start collecting your ads. And the third thing is that you need to have your monetization preferences set. So that's the third thing. And then the last two things that are kind of the most important because these are the two things that people are usually waiting on for the longest time and that is one you need to have at least 1,000 subscribers and two you need to have at least 4,000 watch hours within the previous 12 months. I like the fact that there's a new journey that I'm taking for myself and for my soul and y'all are watching the videos which makes me happy because one i get the best advice from y'all out there i get the best support from y'all out there which i really appreciate and in return i hope to give you some information about my hair as much as possible and just keep you updated on what's going on and what i'm doing with my hair keep the comments about your advice coming because i definitely take all of that into consideration whenever i'm trying to you know get my hair to lock so I appreciate that hey today's Saturday it's like 12 30 ish and um I'm just chilling I just got done trying to like duplicate the makeup that I did yesterday and I tried to take a picture for my like YouTube profile because I want another one so this is the picture or one of the many that I took to see if I could get like a good profile shot. Okay, so I ended up making a burrito. This one um, is like the breakfast burrito that I have the ingredients to on my Insta story. If you click on this Insta story highlight, then you'll see like what the ingredients are to this. Hey, so in my SpongeBob voice, it's many hours later. And, um,. Since the last time that y'all saw me, I ended up going out and going shopping. So I got some clothes to actually do like a whole springtime haul. I also went to hang out with some of my family today. And then I went to Walmart. So I'm going to show you what I got from Walmart. Do you hear that sound? I got these trolleys. I don't know what possessed me. They were just sitting there. Hanging up uh, by self-checkout, and so I got them. I ended up getting some of this Carol's Daughter's Leave-In, I think it is. It smells really good, and I also saw Mo using it, or Mo said that she was using it for her hair too, so I decided to just try it for mine, and we're going to see how it works. I'm just going to use it for the smell, strictly for the smell, so... I got this lipstick from Wet n Wild. Is it lipstick or gloss? No, it's a lip gloss. The shade Wine and Dined. So I want to try this on to see how it looks because in the store I wasn't able to open it. Let me wipe this off. It's okay. It's not what I thought it would be though. But it doesn't look bad. I'll probably mix it with something because I don't know if I just like this pink gloss look. That's everything that I got from Walmart. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog off here. Don't forget to hashtag and we out in the comments. Um, and comment down below this emoji if you made it this far in the video. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all in my next video and I'm out.